such a bizarre, weird, strange ending for this fight. <laughs> um, they haven't interviewed the fighters yet, uh, so I, I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, but yeah, it was such a strange ending. Like, Monkinho just intentionally kept taking a knee in the corner. Uh, now keep in mind, prior to this round, prior to the fourth round, um, Monkinho looked like he injured himself. It looked like he twisted his ankle. Uh, in a fight where I thought he was doing pretty well, and honestly, I thought Monkinho was doing pretty well, moving around, picking his shots, um, you know, landing some really good clean punches on Liam Smith. And in this fourth round, uh, Liam Smith was able to put him in the corner, and Monkinho looked like he intentionally took a knee. Uh, and took off his mouth guard, you know, referee counted to eight, let the fight continue, and Mankinio proceeded to take a knee again, and he was complaining, I don't know what he was complaining about, I'm not sure if it's the in if there's an injury or what have you, but it was such just a bizarre ending, it's such a very unsatisfactory ending as well, um, cause that's, and the fight was shaping up to be a good damn fight, he was shaping up to be a good fight, and next thing you know, this happened. So, you know, Monquinho getting two get, getting knockdowns uh, in those fight round. Uh, yeah, it's just it was just strange, very strange. Um, anyway, in the end, Liam Smith got the win. It looked like Monquinho looked like he quit honestly um, by taking those knees intentionally. It looked like he didn't want to fight anymore because the second knockdown he pushed Liam Smith and intentionally took a knee again and. And he was complaining when the referee stopped the fight because it looked like Hassan didn't really want to fight anymore. So, anyway, such a weird ending. Liam Smith improves to 32 and 3. One draw, uh, 19 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. Three wins in a row now since losing to Korbanov. And keep in mind that Korbanov fight was a close competitive fight. If that fight was anywhere else except, you know, except in Russia, uh, I think Liam Smith would probably got, could have gotten the decision. So you can argue that he hasn't lost a fight since losing to Jaime Munguia. And right now, Liam Smith wants those big fights. He's 34 years old. He's not getting any younger. Biggest name in the division is Jermel Charlo. Uh, Charlo right now, um, he has Team Zoo in January, I believe. And then he has now a bunch of mandatories. But if they can get the Liam Smith fight, which I'm sure boxer promotions would be willing to work with uh, PBC to uh, make that fight here in the States. And that fight to be shown live on Sky Sports in the UK and uh, you know Showtime here in the States. So I can definitely see... Uh, the Liam Smith fight happening with Charlo um, when the time comes. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, there's some big names out there at 154 pounds, and hopefully, um, you know, Liam Smith can get those big names. As for Hassan Mankinho, 27 years old, still young, three losses now in his pro career. It's just just such a weird way. I don't understand what happened. Um, I think they're about to start interviewing the fighters, so I wonder what's going on right now. But but yeah, Monquinho, I guess, just back to the drawing board and learn from this and improve from it. Such, it's so weird. It's a weird ending. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about in the comments. Again, I thought it was shaping up to be a great fight, but then, you know, next thing you know, that happened. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.